Hello, my lovelies, my beauties, my friends. My name is Blaine Elizabeth and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna talk about how to stay sober at a holiday gathering. And we're gonna do this while we open my Ipsy. Do you guys like my glitter? Thank you. My icon box from Ipsy. So the first thing that you can do to stay sober at a holiday gathering with your family is to bring your own non-alcoholic drinks. Bringing your own non-alcoholic drink, always have something in your hand to drink. Water, Coca-Cola, cranberry juice. Always have something in your hand so that nobody feels the need to offer you anything. People, you know, they're just being nice, but no. Ooh, look at this, this is cute. Shut up, they got me with the packaging. Hydro Rush Intense Moisture Leave-In Conditioner. Look at this, just look. Look at that packaging. Ooh, girl, moisturize me. My daughter is going to shit. She loves leave-in conditioner because the girlies that she watches on TikTok and stuff, they always have leave-in conditioner sprays and stuff. She's like, mom, if we're gonna do this hairstyle, we need this leave-in conditioner. Okay, a super soft sheer setting powder for angel face skin. So we got angel face by TYS Beauty, Il Maquillage, High Point Bronzer, Blush, and Highlighter Pro Palette. Dang, that's a big ass palette though. Okay, thank you, Ipsy. Ooh, I got a Tarte palette. And Tartlet, juicy. Not gonna lie, I'm excited about that one. And then what else? Speak Love Moisture Matte Lipstick by Liss Beauty. Transform your lips with this powerfully pigmented moisture matte lipstick that delivers one swipe color payoff while keeping your lips hydrated. Okay, shit. Eyeliner pencil by Laura Mercier. Ooh, and I got one more thing. Ooh, a perfume. Yes, ma'am. Rosie by Rosie Jane. I'm not gonna lie. I thought about canceling my Ipsy, but I just, <laughs> I love it. And I'm a mom and all I do all day long is mom and work and mom and work. Ooh, this is skinny. This reminds me of them cigarettes that my mom used to smoke way back in the day. Ooh, who is she? Who is she? Not gonna lie. Ipsy makes me feel like a princess, so I'm just gonna say that. Woo! Well, that was iconic from the icon box. Icon box. So for Ipsy, you get to choose if you want an icon box quarterly. So every three months, they give you an icon box. I totally recommend it. Okay. And I have a code. Oh my God, I'll put my Ipsy code in the description. Let's get back to it. How to stay sober at a holiday gathering. Step one, bring your own non-alcoholic drinks. Always have something in your hand. No thanks, I've already got something. No thanks, I've already got this right here. This is really good. I love this. This water is the shit. Step two, have an exit plan. Bring your sober bestie and leave together. Have an exit plan, drive yourself there. Think of an excuse. What is your excuse for leaving? You already need an excuse for leaving before you get there. <laughs> If the environment becomes too triggering or too uncomfortable, just leave. What is your excuse? You need an excuse before you go. Oh, the kids are tired. The kids are always my excuse. The kids are a great excuse. That's your excuse. Be like, I need to go watch my friend's kids. Blaine's kids really need me right now. <laughs> you can use my kids as an excuse. Okay, number three, I kind of already said it, but sober buddy. So my girlfriend, Heather, um, she always comes to my family functions with me, and that is my sober sister. We're always doing sober fun things together. This weekend, we went to a cultural mixer. They had all different kinds of food from everywhere. They had 
Thai food, African food, soul food, Greek food, Mexican food, um, pierogies, sausages, and sauerkraut. Because sober events are freaking awesome. Pure 360, and they put on these amazing banger events. They're always alcohol and drug free, and they're child friendly. Child friendly, alcohol, and drug free. That sounds exactly like me, right? Yes, yes. So I belong there. And it is amazing. Anyway, my sober bestie works there. And so they're putting on awesome events all the time. Also, my partner's sober. So I always have a, um, a buddy with me that's sober. But we always drive separate because me and my partner like to leave at different times. I like to stay late. He likes to leave early. Works perfect for the kids. James has to go good night. Chris, go ahead and take him. You can leave. You can take him, put him to bed. Number four, practice saying no. No, thank you. No, I don't drink or I'll end up in handcuffs. No, no, thank you. I don't drink or else I'll, you know, start smoking crack tomorrow. No, no thank you. You guys have fun. Although my family pretty much knows me at this point. They know I'm not drinking with them. And it sucks because a lot of times I'll be like hanging out with my cousins, yada, yada, do. And then they start like passing around the bottle and I'm like, fuck, now I gotta go. I gotta pick up my butt and leave this table, which sucks because I love, I love my cousins. Number five, attend a meeting before or after. Plan out. If you're newly sober and you're worried about it, plan out. Okay, I gotta go to a meeting at this time. Then I can go to Thanksgiving dinner and then there's another meeting after. Plan your day so that you know exactly what you're gonna do. Be like, no, I actually can't stay here and drink all night because I have shit to do. Try practicing mindfulness, focusing your attention on the food. That's another tip. Focus on the food and the activities. At my Thanksgiving, we always have like Christmas um, crafts that we can do. And I always focus on my kids, the activities, the food, and I'm good to go. Shift your intention to enjoying your meal, having great conversations and your activities. That should help you a lot. I forgot what number we're on. Number seven, know your triggers. Know what your triggers are. Are there certain people there that are your trigger? Is there a certain beverage that's your trigger? Know your triggers so that you can be aware of those situations and you can have a plan in place if you get triggered. Number eight, check in with your support system. Let them know what you're doing. Let them know who triggers you. Let them know, you know, hey, I'm going to my family's Thanksgiving or I'm going to my family's Christmas party. I'm gonna need you to call you. I'm gonna need to call you while I'm there because I might, might get triggered. You just let your support system know like what you're up to so that you have accountability. Number nine, remember why you're sober. Why did you decide to put down alcohol in the first place? Is it to feel better? Is it because you're drinking and driving too much? Is it because of legal reasons? Is it because your kids? Why, why are you sober? I know why I'm sober but why are you sober? Why did you choose to do this? Remember that when you're going into this family Thanksgiving function. And if you're a true addict or alcoholic, you can't just have one. Remember that now, you can't just have one. Come on now, come on now. No, nope, you can't just have one. One is too many, a thousand's never enough. We know the drill, we know the drill. And then lastly, finally, number 10, have fun. You are there to have fun. You're there to engage with your family. That's what Thanksgiving is all about, is spending time together and making memories with your family and Christmas. So have fun. If things get hairy, you drove there so you can leave. Know what meetings are in your area. You got this. You can do this. Happy Thanksgiving from your sober bestie. Mwah. I know that you can do this. You got sober for a reason. Don't let your family take you out. Your family's not that powerful. Your friends are not that powerful. Who has the power of you staying sober? Who? Who? That's right, you do. You do, my friend. So get your ass in gear and say no to drugs. And you got this. Oh, by the way, don't forget to check out this video right here. Okay, bye!